What's up, Jim Raw fam? My name is Shelby. Today I have 15 minute ab workout for you. You don't need any equipment, just a space on the floor, a mat, a towel, whatever you need, some water. Let's get started with a warm up. So we're gonna start with 30 seconds on our warm up. Let's just start standing, take it out, toes out to the side. I want you to bend down into your sumo squat, bring your hands to heart center and start to twist side to side using the obliques, right? You're twisting using the obliques, not the arms. So from the center of your core, like you're wringing out a sponge, take it side to side. Good, hold it here for 10. A little bit lower, five. Good, three, two, one. Now take it up real slow. I want you to bring that right arm down and just start to hinge and lift, right? Hinge, hips to the left, lift. Take it down, lift up high. Five, four, three, get a little deeper, two, and one. Take those arms up high, your left arm comes down, take it to the right. Nice, so you're hinging, you're stretching out those side obliques. Good, you've got five, four, Three, two, one. All right, take those arms up high, walk it back, and as slowly as you can, I want you to step it out into a high plank. So from here, we're just gonna hold this for one breath. Inhale, and then exhale, come down onto the knees, push yourself back. Real quick, take a child's pose, stretching it out. Come back forward, high plank, one more time, inhale. Exhale, come to the knees, send it back. From here, we're taking a slow mountain climber to get the blood flowing. Come up into that high plank. Slow left knee to chest, right knee to chest. Left knee, right knee, so it's nice and slow, right? In, out, step it back, high plank. In, out, you've got 10 seconds. Come on, hold it, hold it. The abs should be starting to fire up. Five. In three, in two, drop to the knees. Now take the hands underneath those arms, send it up for a arch. So you're sending it up, arching the back, looking up, and then exhale, rounding the back. One more, inhale, arch, exhale, round. Send the arms forward one more time. Toes come to touch, knees as wide as the mat. Child's pose. Stretching it out, maybe moving side to side with those arms. Good, come back up, hands underneath. Make your way to a comfortable seated position. So today we have 30 seconds on, 30 seconds of one exercise, a tiny bit of a rest, repeat, and then we move on, okay? Our first one for 30 seconds is a bicycle crunch. So I want you to come down onto that mat, flat on your back, hands behind the head, Opposite elbow to opposite knee. 30 seconds there, that's where we're starting. That's all you need to know, all right? Come down onto the mat. Keep those arms open wide. You've got three, two, one. Good, opposite elbow to opposite knee. Now the trick is to keep your shoulders up the whole time off of that mat. Good, holding it here. We got 30 seconds, come on, in and out, in and out, good, you've got 10. Keep those shoulders up, arms out wide. Three, two, one. All right, come down, rest for a second, rest your head, rest your neck. Next exercise, same thing, stay on the ground. You're gonna bring your legs up high. All right, legs are up, hands are up, opposite, hand to opposite shoelace, opposite toe, okay? Ankle taps, toe taps, ready? Bring those feet up high, toe taps, here we go. Arms up straight, 30 seconds, we go in three, in two, shoulders up, and go. Opposite tap, opposite tap, the trick again. Keep those shoulders up off the mat, team. Keep them up, make it count. Use that core to get you side to side. Ha. Good. Holding here, you got 20 seconds. Lift those legs up a little higher. Woo! Squeeze it out side to side. 
five. Oh, four. Slowest countdown ever. Three, two, one. All right, rest the head, rest the neck. So same idea for this one. Our legs come up. This time our arms stay down by our side. We're lifting those hips up an inch down, up an inch down, okay? That's it, 30 seconds there. Shake it out, get ready. <sighs> Send those hands out to the side, nice and straight. Legs up high, 30 seconds we go in three, two, one, lift the legs, send it down, up and down. Notice how my lower back lifts up off of that mat, nice and light, good. Keep the focus, keep the breath, up and down. It's not a big movement. Good, up and down, nice, come on, hold it. Up, getting that squeeze from the abs. Over halfway, come on. Send it up and down. You've got 10 seconds, team, that's it. Five, three, two, one. All right, slowly roll yourself up, stretch it out, rest it out, shake it out. Coming back down, this time we're on our backs again, okay? We're bringing our heels in towards our glutes, heels in towards our glutes. So we're down here, I have my heels in, my arms are gonna come out, my shoulders lift, it's an ankle tap side to side. So now I'm tapping my ankles, okay? 30 seconds, do we got this? Three, two, lift the shoulders up, hands out to the side, tap opposite ankles. Keeping the shoulders up, that's the key for all of these exercises, okay? Now the further your heels are, the harder it's gonna be. So if you want more of a challenge, send those heels out a little further. Yes, yes. Scrunch that core, squeeze that core. Everything is coming from the obliques, the top abs. Good, we've got 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Okay, give yourself a little rest. Bring those knees into chest, a little hug, a little quick little stretch, little hug. Nice, stay down on that mat this time. Hands are down by the side, feet are straight out, knees are straight out. We're gonna hold it here, lifting up our legs an inch off the floor, flutter kicks, okay? If you want more support, you can put those hands underneath the glutes, maybe you lift up your shoulders, okay? I want you to listen to your body. 30 seconds of a flutter kick. We go in five, in three, in two, one, 30 seconds right here. So I'm gonna lift up my shoulders just a little bit. See how my feet are only an inch up off the floor. That's it, inch up. And I'm just fluttering, tiny, tiny little flutters. 30 seconds, this should burn. Woo, you should feel this. Keep up, just don't come down. Do not come down, you got 10. Keeping the breath. You've got five. Woo, yes team, three. Two, one, bring those knees into chest. Oh, how are we feeling? Okay, so this one, next one, we're staying on our back for this, all right? It's a V sit in and out. So the easiest way to do this, I like to call this an ab row, is to come up like you're coming into a V sit, but bring your knees into chest, back out. Knees into chest, back out. If you need to, you can put your shoulders on the ground and the feet on the ground and then come back up, but your knees are coming to chest. 30 seconds in three, two, go. Bring them in and out, in and out. My hands stay out to the side. It's like I'm rowing a boat, right? Maybe you even add in a little bit of arm work and take it back, take it back. Yep, we're rowing through. We're kayaking around this ocean. Let's go, 10. Yes, five. Three, two, and one. Good. All right, real quick, give yourself a little tiny stretch. Come over onto the other side. So this is kind of like our cobra pose in yoga. Just lift up, stretch out that core, stretch out those abs. All right, from here, we take it back to that mountain climber. So just like we did in our warm up, we're gonna be in our high plank, okay? 30 seconds, fast mountain climber. So get a little cardio in here, okay? 30 seconds there, and then we rest. Are we ready? 
Whoo, yes we are. Okay, let's do this. 30 seconds, come up into that high plank, mountain climbers, in three, in two, and one. Go, nice and quick, nice and quick. Knees to chest, knees to chest. This is our only little bit of cardio in this workout today, okay? So get it in, get it in. Yes. Nice and quick, nice and quick. You've got 20 seconds, less than that, less than that. Come on, halfway. In, in, yes, so close. 10. The countdown is on. Five, four, three, two. All right, take it down to your knees really fast. Stretch it out, child's pose. Head comes down to the mat. Whoo, good, shake it out side to side. All right, are we ready for our last little bit, our plank series, yes? Coming onto our forearms, holding here. 30 seconds, we hold a forearm plank. Just hold here, 30. Next 30 seconds, we don't rest. We come up, side plank, right side. Then we come up, left side plank, all right? It's a minute and a half of a plank, and then we stretch it out, okay? So I need you to come down to the mat. Forearms down, if you need to, you drop onto your knees, but I challenge you to try it up on your heels or on your toes today, okay? Let's do this, 30 seconds. Forward plank in three, two, one. Step it up, now you're holding here, you're tucking your hips under, you're shifting your weight forward, and notice how I don't have my hands clasped, it makes it a little harder, all right? They're a little bit apart from each other, I'm getting more out of it, more in my core, Nice, keep holding it. It's only 30 seconds and we got 10 more. We're gonna switch it over. Good, keeping that breath. <sighs> Bringing it to the right side in three, in two, one. So now we're on our right forearm, left arm is up. Now remember, you can bring that right knee down if you need a little more support. Up, 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 right here. Lifting that chest, lifting that core as high as you can. Feel that oblique in the right side. Good, hold it. 10 seconds, we switch it. Other side, a little bit higher. Good, you've got three. You've got two. One, all right, right away into the left side. Left forearm down, right arm up. Same thing, take it up, take it up. Hips are up as high as they possibly can be up towards that sun, good. Maybe you even bring your gaze up, challenge the balance a little bit. Yes, team, 10 seconds, a little higher. This is it. You've got three, you've got two, one, take it down. All right, back into that plank. Just a little bit of a cool down here. So come back into that plank, onto your hands, right? Nice, come back into that plank, onto your hands. Hold here. One breath in, one breath out. Lower all the way down to that mat. And then you're gonna peel your chest up all the way. So this is our cobra pose. <sighs> Good, peeling that chest up. Come back down. Lift up one more time, inhale. And then exhale, coming back to that tabletop where we started. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Bring those toes to touch. Knees come as wide as the mat. Set it back, child's pose. So right here, you feel that stretch in your back. And then I want you to start to walk the hands over to the left side of that mat. Good, feel that stretch in the right side. And then slowly walk it over right side, stretch. Good, back to center. Starting to take it up into our downward facing dog. Just real quick, get a little stretch out. Bend into the right knee, bend into the left knee, and then start to walk it forward. Walk it forward, walk it forward. Bending the knees, let it hang. Get that back, all that tension out of your back, out of your neck that we just did in those abs. Shake it out. Nice, and then I want you to start to bring your hands clasp behind your back opening up the chest, open up the chest, open up the abs. And then we'll end with that side body stretch, hips come to the right. Switch it out, hips come to the left. 
Back up, we end with our torso twist side to side movement, right? Get a little bend in the knees. Shake it out, get that fresh blood flow. I hope your abs are killing you and I hope you have an amazing day.